What's going on everyone? Weekend Vibes. Today, I want to talk about copyright claims because I have subscribers and also um, we have uh, people who watch our channel that aren't subscribers that probably wonder why sometimes it takes so long to get videos up for us. One, Cynthia and I are, uh, we're architects and we're, um, we actually run a company. So it's difficult to, uh, to, um, you know, spend time doing this. We do love it, but uh, we try our best to get as many up as we can, but uh, sometimes the other job <laughs> takes over. But what happens when we do post something for reaction videos? Um, they go through a copyright claim immediately. Uh, I just did a video now, it's called Tool Descending, and it is a copyright claim. I'm going to walk you through the process of both a copyright claim, but the other one is when your your copyright claim dispute is uh, is rejected. Okay, so um, here we go. Let, let me bring up my my page. I'm gonna make it bigger and make me smaller. All right. So there's that. Move myself up here and make me smaller. All right. So let me put myself in the little corner here. Okay. So this is my page and these are all the songs. Now, what you'll notice is I have four songs here. One's Bad Bunny, Oi Cobre. One is Rosalia at the 2019 VMAs. One's Diana Navarro, El Perdón. And then one is Rosalia and J Balvin, uh, Can Otra, okay? So I'm gonna click on Manage Videos. Okay, now, as my videos are coming up, you can see my content and you can see it where it says copyright claim, okay? You see that. Now, I just did tool descending and that one's public, particularly because I did not use a video, I just used the song. And so I'm going to put in right now what I have to do for every single reaction video. So you go to copyright claim, you hit see details, and now you look, it says the channel impact is not affected visibility is public and then but monetization is ineligible now we're not monetizing monetizing our channel at this point uh, we don't have enough subscribers so if you want to help us subscribe but uh, when you're here you could see that the only thing that's really being blocked is monetization okay and now it says video cannot be monetized so let's go through the process of the fair use of uh of this music I go to select action. Now I have an option, trim out segment, segment, replace song or mute song. If I muted the song, then this is an irrelevant uh, video. So I hit dispute. Now, people have tried to get around uh, the music by saying I own it. Well, I I'm not making money from the video. That's irrelevant. I give credit to my copyright, to the copyright owner. That's irrelevant. This one, I own a copy of the song or video. That's irrelevant. So they're saying, remember that these are not valid reasons to dispute a content ID claim. So you have to first check and say, none of these are the reason why I'm putting in this, uh, this change. Okay? Or this uh, you know, dispute. So I checked that. My dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. I would still like to dispute this copyright claim. So you hit continue. And then it says, well, what's the reason? Is it original content? Is it, do you own a license for it? So original content, the content claimed in my video is my original content and I own all the rights to it. Okay, I don't own the rights to tool descending. License, I have permission or a license to use the content claimed in my video. No, Maynard and the boys did not give me uh, a license. And then I'm gonna skip over fair use. The next one's public domain. The content claimed in my video is in the public domain and is no longer protected by copyright. Now, there's some content that that is true. Um, it's old, old stuff, standards, etc. That's not the case here. So what you hit is fair use. And there have there there was a lawsuit where uh, someone was doing reaction videos, many of them, and they got sued for tens of or hundreds of thousands of dollars by the record label. And this the the person making reaction videos won. So it's the fair use of 1976. If you look at my uh, description in my videos, you'll see 
that I, I reference that. So I, I would encourage you all to look at the description of the video at the bottom where I put copyright fair use. Okay. Okay. And part of fair use is about giving criticism or feedback or reaction to a, a piece of work. Okay. It cannot be substituted, meaning they want to make sure that you didn't substitute your video for theirs, meaning can my video simply replace theirs and, and, and use their content? Well, that's why a lot of reaction videos will pause, will talk about it, might rewind it, might zoom in on it. There has to be some editing to it because you're giving a, uh, you're giving a, um, a criticism of it. Okay. And yet that by fair use in United States law, that's okay. So now when you're here, it says fair use, each use, each case is different. Types of reuse that may be okay. Parodying it or commenting on an original work may be protected under fair use. Examples include reviewing a song and playing short clips to illustrate your argument. Okay. Uh, common misconceptions. Giving credit to the copyright owner does not mean you have the right or you have, uh, ooh, does not mean that you haven't infringed on their rights. So when you say to yourself, under fair use, I believe my video is protected under fair use. Of course, I believe it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. So I check that. You hit continue and you say, well, I'm going to do a reaction video. And then you give a reason. And what I've been using for my reason, which uh, seems to be working, I say, I am not attempting to claim any of the music as my own, I am simply providing my constructive feedback, criticism, and reaction. At that point, I check all three. My video does not infringe anyone's right. I understand that the claimant may, will be able to review my video and dispute it. I understand that filing a fraudulent dispute may result in termination of my YouTube account. Uh, I do not believe this is fraudulent. I completely believe that this is um, an acceptable use. So I put my name to it. Okay, and then I hit submit. Now, when I submit, this dispute takes, I don't know why it's taking so long, but uh, disputes will be sent to the claimant for review. So who does it go to? This goes to, looks like Sony Music, SME. Okay. So for two days, this stays in copyright claim status. Once the two days are up, if the person that put the copyright claim, not YouTube puts the copyright claim immediately. If the person that put that in there uh, does not respond in two days, it goes up or it can be monetized in two days. Um, I think, but they still have 30 days to review. The, the claimant has 30 days to review it. So that's why you see all of these with copyright claim. Now you can see the ones that are blocked. The ones I did yesterday and the day before. We got Bad Bunny, Oy Cobre, Rosalia at the 2019 VMAs, Diana Navarro, okay? Those are blocked. Now, if I go to the bottom, one of my first videos that Cynthia and I did is this one, Romeo Santos and Kiko Rodriguez right here. Let me move myself. I'll put myself over here. Okay, Romeo Santos and Kiko Rodriguez. You can see that currently it says none. Okay, it says none in public. That's been over 30 days and, and I published it on February 16th. It's been over 30 days and uh, apparently uh, it's acceptable to Romeo and, and them. Okay, but what if, if you look at Bad Bunny and Rosalia La Noche de Anoche, this one should, should, has gone through the copyright. Um, it's almost waited 30 days, but they disputed my rejection. Okay, so you guys have watched it. I had 2,671 views on this. Okay, 23 comments, 98% uh, like but it's just been blocked. Now, uh, 
it seems as Bad Bunny is the one that, or Bad Bunny's group is blocking anything. And sometimes it's an insta block. In that case, you got to go here. They've rejected it, my, my claim. And now I would have to go through an appeal. Okay. And an appeal is much different. All right. Now I have to make a decision if I'm going to go through this appeal or not. Is it worth it or isn't it worth it? Okay. Because in this case, it starts to become much more, um, let's just say, uh, I, I want to say uh, more legal. And it's okay to do it. I don't mind doing it because I know I'm in the right. But um, I have to really think about whether I want to go through an appeal. If I say I understand the risks of an appeal and want to proceed, I click that and I go through. And now it starts asking full legal name, street address, email, etc. One of the, I'm going to hit back for now. One of the things I notice is that the Bad Bunny um, albums are being blocked completely. So we may not be doing any more Bad Bunny just because it's a hassle. There's so much more content out there we could do. Um, I have another one just like that, okay? You could see that the Cobra Kai reaction I did, it's there's no restriction, okay? Because um, I guess Cobra Kai and Netflix accepted that what I've, the piece I used was acceptable. But we'll wait for these, and I'm sure that, you know, this Bad Bunny one, will, Oi Cobre, which is a fun video, will come up. Uh, but it's in dispute. It should come up tonight. So that's what, that's what uh, content providers go through. That's what we go through when, when we produce a reaction video. It's all depending on whether we agree that, uh, or that we want to go through the appeal process or not. I will most likely win if I go through the appeal process, but at the same time, is it worth it? So if you guys see that songs that were on my list are, uh, reactions were on my list are gone, that's why they're gone. All right. I hope this was helpful to anyone creating content uh, or anyone wondering about my own page. Okay. Thank you very much.